What's up guys, it's Eggie here. We're back in the garage. I'm just gonna move that up a little bit. But we're back in the garage for another video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video where I announced Wireware as my 2024 main sponsor. But um, right now we're in the process of swapping traction bars. Uh, I already got the jack underneath this one. Literally everything that was mounted to it is out. Battery is over there. Radiator's all cocked. Um, the uh, fuel pump is out. Oh, well, it's not out, but it's off. Um, like I said, battery's off. There's only two, like, um, Allen bolts holding it right there. And then the bolts that were holding traction bar to the car are off as well. So we got all that off. I'm now I'm in the process of getting the two 19s that are right under there and over there. Because they were only in there because they couldn't come out because the plate is holding them in. So you kind of have to go in there with a wrench and take it out and it's a pain in the butt. But um, I just wanted to get it as far as I could to get it off. And then um, I'll kind of just let everything hang or I'll put something underneath it. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna get started on that so we could get this uh, weight plate and traction bar out so we can put the K2 in one on. If you don't remember why I'm doing this, it's because this is meant for a B-series car. So the where, where the arm is traveling through, the traction bar arm is traveling through, it's hitting my damper so i mean if we had a lean motor it probably wouldn't hit because it, the damper would be further back and the motor would kind of twist forward but um we don't have a lean motor so uh, we have to go with the k-tuned one which is made for a k-series da so we're going to use our full race arms with our k-tuned traction bar also shout out to jeffrey for cutting out the heim joints that were stuck in there at work um so anyways yeah so i'm gonna take these 19s out and uh, i'll see you guys in a second all right, so I have it unbolted. So theoretically, as soon as I do this, it should just come down. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. And it's not falling off the track. And that's okay. And it's out. Nice. So that is out. So that's kind of hanging, but that's, that's fine. It's fine if it's hanging. I'm just gonna... Well, there we go. Pull that out of the way. Or not. Uh, so now that's hanging. Everything else is hanging, but it's not going to go anywhere. And the little, that's not going to do nothing. It's not going to mess up the car or anything. Hopefully. But uh, I got it out. So now what I'm going to do is uh, mount up our other one. And uh, at least it'll hold up the radiator and all that. And then I could figure out how I'm going to mount it. I probably won't reuse any of this. I was thinking about reusing it. But then I realized I have like some um, thinner steel. I have this over here. It's on the top of the battery. I have some of this stuff. So it's about, actually, it's probably about the same thickness as the weight plate. But instead of cutting out the whole thing, I'll just cut out slices, weld it. And then, um, you know... We'll also have the weight reduction and uh we'll have the rate reduction and we'll still have places to mount everything so anyways uh let me get this k-tune one in <sighs> i'm not gonna lie i'm a little frustrated um i got the weight plate off obviously and uh i got the k-tune one mounted up everything's hanging like it was before and if you look it looks like Pro race bar worked in theory, yes, but on I'm missing half the bolts on my K tune bar over here to get it to swing forward to make it work because these arms are too long, or as far as like where 
the full race bracket goes to the control arm, but the full race radius bars is too long to where the K tune should mount up. Even, and it's turned all the way in and it's still not mounting up. So now I'm trying to figure out, do I bite the bullet and just buy a whole new K tuned um, traction bar? Because you can't find the radius arms. Um, it's frustrating, but you can't find them. I can't, at least I can't find one. But uh, I've been looking like in between just because now I'm just annoyed. But yeah. Um, so I'm debating on just either getting a full, um, just a whole new one or leaving it how it is and just welding it to the car. I prefer to have it removed. Sorry. I prefer to have it removable, but, um, I don't know because, uh, speed factory has them in stock, but it'll, it'll take, I mean, they're in Washington, so it'll take a little bit. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look around online and see what comes up. Alright, sorry for the noise from the heater, but it's cold. It's like 30 or below 30 right now. But we're trying to get this thing done so we can get tuned next month, get aligned and all that stuff. And get ready for the season. But, uh, Slav is here. We're figuring out how we're going to mount the pump. Because now that we don't have the weight plate, we're making brackets and stuff some extra metal I had lying around and then we gotta tack another one on so we can get the radiator mounted on one side the radiators out too so it's a couple steps backwards for big leaps forward if that makes any sort of sense but anyways we're gonna get back to it so uh yeah So don't mind the Puerto Rican standing on top of the car. We've been here before, but um, we got it. Well, you guys can't say anything because I didn't turn the light on, hold on. But, me and Savi finished welding it, and then Savi painted it. So, and all the holes are drilled on it. So, but now what Savi's doing is that he's cutting the inner skin off the hood because uh, we have to get the hood cut if we want to go to the dyno because we need the ITVs to breathe. So that's what he's doing right now. And then, uh, yeah. So, uh... So, this is what we got going on right now. Outlined it up. We're gonna open it up a little bit you. over here. We cut the inside first. Yep. All the inner skin. But so we cut all the inner skin. So now we're gonna cut down to like right here on both sides. We're gonna cut in here and cut down. And we're probably gonna have to cut most of this out too right here because it's gonna hit the ITBs when we try to push it down. So our plan is to cut both sides and then push it down and that uh, extra that Dido gave me we're gonna make like some triangle pieces and glue them in between the hood and this piece of carbon right here so it it'll basically be force pushed down but everything's carbon no metal no nothing just a nice clean look oh uh, yeah up about that.
So, as you can see, things escalated very quickly. <laughs> we have full exposure of the ITBs. Shout out to Savi, always coming in handy. You know, you gotta get you friends that'll come to the garage with you until like 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> cutting up carbon and welding crap. Because you don't got friends like that, I don't know what to tell you. But we got this going on. We made like templates out of um, construction paper, just so we know where we're gonna put we're gonna make these well the pieces that Tiru made me we're gonna use that to make those pieces right here yep this is gonna be in here like that yep and then Savi's it's gonna, be full gonna carbon. make it full carbon and then underneath it let's open this underneath it he's gonna make this all fiberglass so it's all solid underneath so you know nothing's flexing nothing's you know everything's solid so because originally what our plan was, we did cut this across here. Because originally our plan was to just bend it down. But when we did that, it was flexing the front of the hood. Flexing the front of the hood up. So that didn't, that wasn't a good look. So we just cut it here. And we're going to get our panel bond and everything going. And so, comes out all nice. I mean, that looks great. I mean, hold on. I mean, we're going to get all the airflow. Look at that. Look at that. It's gonna suck in all the air. So that's dope. And then uh we also got the let me get a flashlight. Yeah. So we also got the fuel pump, it's kinda dirty, but whatever. Uh Savi painted it, drilled the holes. Savi painted and drilled the holes, so all our holes are drilled. They just gotta get hardware for it. And then uh, we welded it back here, got it all painted. But I mean, it's super solid, so that's not going anywhere. I still have to do the uh, the radiator, but that super simple. Just gonna weld another tab off, and then we still have the other ones right there that we'll deal with too. And then um, there's really not much left. I just gotta get the other traction bar. And actually, I don't even know if I talked about it. Talk, about, talk it. about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. So you're gonna see in the early clip. I was really frustrated because I got these in and we're about a quarter of an inch too long when they were closed all the way in. So um, my boss, he doesn't like that when I call him my boss, but guess what, he's my boss. Tells him what to do, you're my boss. So um, he told me to bring him to work and we cut him down a quarter of an inch on each side, about a quarter of an inch. I really, I really stuck a wrench in there and just whatever, whatever the wrench could grab onto, I cut off whatever I didn't need. But it was about a quarter of an inch. And then we cut it and then we, uh, you know, cleaned it up on the inside, got it all nice, and then now it mounts up real nice. You wanna show them? Yeah. You wanna open that? Yeah. Almost died. Well, it's not died. Well, I could show but, them down here. But now it's in there. It's holding that on both sides. Just got, I just want to get new, uh, new nuts, new nylon nuts for it, so it's not coming off. I had to stick some extra washers on the front, just cause um, it's a cartoon bar with the full race radius bars so um the k tune bar is a little wider than um this because the new uh well, here's the original bar so if you look at that that's a lot thicker than this one so i put some washers in there to take up the gap but um yeah besides that um i just gotta get this other side in with the bracket so i gotta take the fork off no no not the fork i gotta take the axle out gotta take the axle out and then um yeah and then pretty much what so we could do the alignment on it. Yeah, I'll take the car and align it. Align it, and then we could take it to this guy right well, here. Well, actually, um, before I align corner it, balance. corner balance. So take it to Steven's at Gato Steven Bill. And Gato, if you're watching, 
I'm gonna need a quarter balance on this thing. Yes, sir. And then, um, then. But before that, I didn't tell you. I'm okay. sorry. What's before that, too? You have to get the car in full race mode, oh, like yeah, it's gonna true. race, and you have so, you need your helmet, your gear, and everything. You're gonna have to sit there, and they're gonna make the quarter balance. So the good thing about that is that my dad bought an oversized race suit that fits me, and the helmet fits me, so we're good there. I just gotta get shoes, a neck brace, and gloves, and we're good to go as far as that goes. And then the other thing I have to do, which I've also been procrastinating on, is either get the stuff done for the doors, for the windows, or take those off and hopefully Thiru, no pressure, because it's really my fault. I should have the doors off already and taken apart. But in like a month and a half, make those doors out of carbon and then we mount it to those doors. So we gotta figure that out within the next couple days. The only problem is, is that there's a trailer next to that car. I should still be able to get the doors off. I, actually, screw that, I can't get the doors off. Anyways. But those doors are heavy, they're full weight. Um, but, so we gotta do that too. Damn. It, it was still, it's we still, still got stuff. a lot of work. <laughs> but Yes, sir. Besides that, um, yeah, I mean, shoot, getting this done, getting that done, I mean, there's really, there's, if you think about it, there's a lot left, but at the same time, it's not anything that really costs money it's all stuff that we can do time and get it done yeah besides, well besides tune and alignment but still uh but yeah i mean the car more or less is it's ready to go pretty much pretty much just windows finish that finish mounting all the bracket like the little brackets and stuff and uh i feel like we have like a good two weeks two weeks of work right of work two and... weeks of work which is honestly not a lot like you gotta grind yeah exactly like it might be two weeks of work but it doesn't necessarily mean we could get it done in two weeks just because you know people have work people have other stuff they got to do like Savi has a job i have a job yeah you know what i mean it's not like i have a to job and i go to school and he goes to school to cut hair so it's not like so like this dude gets up i do it every day to work and then goes to school so you know what i mean but it's it's i gotta get like those two like three days i didn't come in here and i should have just been in here so that's on me but, you know, tomorrow we'll be back in here and uh, that'll be in the next video. We're gonna start cutting the carbon for that and getting that all glued up. Uh, probably do the other bracket for the radiator. And uh, you have to do that traction bar on that side. The oh, traction and I have to do the radius bar that's in my hand on that side. So I gotta yeah. take the, pop the axle off. Not completely take it out, just off. So I can get the bracket in. So maybe come in tomorrow when you come from work. Yep. Get that radius bar done yep. ASAP. Get that out the way. You can put the tires back on. You put the rear tires. Yep. Because I'm gonna put instead. Now when we do the corner balance, I have to have the skinnies and the. Yeah, and just the, like you're gonna race the car. Okay. No, because I was gonna say so, the side wheels out there, but no, if we're gonna do that, yeah. Just that how yeah. how the car is gonna go down the track. All right. So like fully, like if we're going to the track, literally. Yeah. So like, is it gonna make a pass? Yeah. And after corner balance, uh, alignment, and then? And then we gotta talk to this guy right here. The guy behind the computer, he don't talk much. That's why his name's Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, we gotta talk to those guys. Speaking of that, uh, Noel, I don't know if you heard me earlier in that clip, but obviously I'm gonna need a new sticker because uh, of that. So I'm probably, we're gonna put it up here now. But uh, Probably gonna go right up here. Right, right up here. Kaya okay. Ototun. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, it's kind of stressful when you think about it, but it's like a good stressful, like a nervous stressful. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm excited. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless at this point. How do you like the new, uh, it looks crazy. The little cutout. It looks crazy. It's, I'm almost getting, remember like when we put the motor in here? Yeah. I'm almost getting the same feeling <laughs> because, uh, you know, like, like we're almost done. Yeah, almost. We're almost done. Like I'm gonna be sitting in this thing at a racetrack, having fun. Having fun, hopefully. But you know what I mean, it's yeah. racing. If it breaks, it breaks. But knock on wood, we're not gonna think like that. Nope. And I don't think this car is gonna break. Actually. No, I don't think so either. No, oh. it's mean, built correct. It is built correct. It's as much as as haggard. As you probably think we are and like stuff like that this car 
This garage looks like this. And this garage is a mess and disorganized, but this car is actually built very nicely. I mean, it has the best parts. Like it has really good parts. Like I didn't. My wallet cheap hurts. Out. My yeah, wallet hurts. you did not cheap out on this car. You know what I mean? As far as a lot of going, people would want to know, build a car like this. You know what I mean? It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's most definitely not cheap. Like, and this is it's still on a budget almost. And I really, I felt like the budget went out the window a long time ago. It did. It did. I mean, this is supposed to be a stock block built head car. Now it's a fully built motor. And PPG one and two. I was supposed to run a stock training. This this car went out the window. Yeah. But now we got KS tunes. We we're gonna run stock training arms. This car just it's gone. But anyways, um, I'm starting to do that thing where I talk a lot. Jibber jabber. Jibber jabber. Taylor Ray, some jibber jabber. Um, but yeah. So like I said, we gotta do this made out of carbon. The other radius bar and the mount for the radiator. radiator. And uh, maybe secure the battery box a little bit more. The battery box a little more because it can't float there just by one bolt holding it. Yeah. And then um oh I want to suck in the uh pause. Crazy pause. <laughs> pause. What did he say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's getting cut out. Yeah. That is getting straight skipped yeah. over. There's gonna be a whole skip over. <laughs> Blooper. Put that foot up for the bloopers, but um I'm gonna pull in the uh the trailer arms just a little bit because I did put them out two inches on each side, which is what you're allowed to use. But I think for this car, while as much as I'd like to extend it as far as I can, just the way the bumper is set up and all that stuff, I'm just gonna suck it in a little bit so it can, um, you know, the tire can clear the bumper and all that, and we don't have to worry about it. It'll still be extended, so we'll still get the wheelbase and all that. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot left. Um, we got two months. What is it? April. January, February, March, April is H day. So we're in what the second week of January? Yes. Or third week. Second. second week. We're in the second week of January. So is it the second week? Yes. Okay. No. But it's the second week of January, so we got I'm gonna say a month and a half. Because we can't just use the whole two months and a half. And then go to H day because that's just not gonna work. This car needs testing. We need to test this car. And people think like I don't like saying it because I feel like I sound like I'm full of myself when I say it. But no one has <laughs> built a DA like this. Like no one built an all motor K24 DA to compete in M1 like this. So there is no data. There is no setup. There's nothing. There's nothing I can take from somebody else's car that would work on this. There's nothing. There's nothing I can grab from anybody else. It's all fresh stuff. So this car is gonna get a lot of attention once it hits the track. Hopefully, we hope so. But um, also, just right before we go, it's still the month of January. We have until the 31st to use code the fam at wirewarenj.com. Please go use it. You get engine harnesses. The fuse box panel, you get the the, the switches, uh, the chassis harness, engine harness, 15% off everything on the website. Uh, they even have Mustang throttle position sensor. I'm using a B-series one, not the point though. But um, yeah, 15% off. Code is the fam at wirewarenj.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.